Uh, this year uh, we had an exhibition at the MoCA Museum in Los Angeles and we had different graffiti artists like Revoke and uh, Saber, Chas Boyorquez and Shepard Ferry uh, who created the Obama poster. Uh, many murals are seen throughout the world today as an art form and it is especially respected by many people throughout big cities like Los Angeles, California. On the other hand, many others believe that graffiti art is vandalism and that it is destroying American society. I will be explaining the history of art on the walls and the ties of the cultural background and last but not least, how art can be used as a tool to influence the people. When we go back to prehistoric art, Many indigenous people created art in the caves as a way to express stories, to storytell uh, what was what they believed in. And uh, many indigenous murals were also done by the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Toltecs, and the Incas. And the book Ancient Mexico, published in 2006, noted pre-Columbian historian Maria Longena claims that the Olmecs, the Zapotecs, Mayas, and Aztecs have left a remarkable testimony of their cultures in the form of great architectural complexes, sculptures, reliefs, ceramics, and jewelry, as well as a complex written records that have only recently begun to reveal their secrets. Uh, many uh, indigenous uh, people have created art, artwork that has been preserved through history, and we've been able to tell history through that artwork and sculptures and murals. And according to researcher Lauren Slow, he says that Mayan writing has not only shed light on the mechanics of the script, but also a social, political, and artistic, uh, historical aspect of the indigenous civilization. Uh, hieroglyphic writing of the Mayas is one of the most striking writing systems in the world. It contains characters, numbers, and abstract designs as, as far as uh, lettering as well. And all these different types of uh, characteristics that are inside of the hieroglyphics um, are also in other types of art forms that we use today in modern day society. And I will explain to you later on how those ties come together. Um, when we go back to the European era and the Renaissance, uh, the European muralists such as Da Vinci and Caravaggio and Rembrandt and Michelangelo were some of the many that created many uh, frescoes uh, and murals in Europe and Mexican muralists like Diego Rivera Siqueiros and Jose Clemente Orozco were inspired by these frescoes when they went to Europe and these uh, Mexican muralists painted about the Mexican Revolution that was happening at the time. In the book Mexico and Modern Day Printing published in 2006, noted historian Lyle W. Williams claims while the revolution did have tremendous impact upon the art and culture of Mexico, and especially upon printmaking, one needs to know what came before the cataclysmic period to appreciate and understand fully what happened after. For while it is common to use the revolution as a starting point in any study of modern Mexican art, it is perhaps more fitting to see it as the culmination of years of political struggle and of a centuries old search for cultural identity. The third um, era that I'm going to be speaking about is the Chicano movement. The Chicano movement started like in the 1940s uh, with the Zoot Suit era, the Zoot Suit riots, um, all the way to the 60s, the Civil Rights Movement. You had artists like George Yepes, Botello, and Judy Baca, Martin Moreno painting murals in the community that would tell us uh, stories and, and, and stories that, are not be that weren't being told, stories about justice and uh, the common laborer worker. Um, some call it the Chicano Renaissance. It was heavily influenced by Mexican muralists. And the other era that I'm going to go to is the graffiti art era. Um, Tacky 143 and other artists such as Cornbread started writing on, on trains back in New York and in Philadelphia. And it started first with the tag. Kind of like this. Crap. Or like this. And then it started evolving and becoming more complex like a, like a throw up. And then it started evolving into what's called the bomb. And then eventually evolving into what's called the piece, which is like a masterpiece, but with the lettering. Um, this has been uh, the first revolution within the arts that has been created by young people. And now it's been, it's been accepted in many parts of the world today. And it was also heavily influenced by the Chicano movement because if you go back to the roots, 
in the Chicano movement in the 1940s, people that were in the Zuzu era were writing placasos in their neighborhoods and marking their territory and writing old English fonts. Um, like Chas Boyorquez said, you know, that's where he got his style from, from, from that old English. And it was already, they were already using graffiti here in Los Angeles and in California. And when you look at the graffiti letters and the characters and the numbers, and you look back at the Mayan hieroglyphics, you can see the ties and the cultural similarities. And, and the same way that they express those stories, and the same way those stories are being expressed through graffiti arts. Um, I just want to let people know that you can use art as a form of media and you can use the different mediums to use it for positive. You can actually teach people photography, ceramics, printing, murals, paint, uh, art therapy, social change, education. You can inspire communities with consciousness and you can tell stories that are not being told. And another thing that you can do is you can also share your faith through the arts. Like myself, you know, a couple of years ago, I used to do graffiti and I was having anxiety attacks. I fell into depression. I went to jail. I got kicked out of four different high schools at the time. And when I came to church called uh, Victory Outreach, I went and I accepted Jesus Christ in my heart and God started changing my heart. And he also started changing my art. So I just wanna let it be known. And in conclusion, um, murals have also, uh, research have, has been done on murals and the research has found that it can influence communities and students to attend college and also graffiti has evolved into a worldwide revolution that can be used to express uh, a different form of media to tell our stories to share consciousness and knowledge and it can also be used in a positive way to change society so that's my little speech have a good day